Hey everybody, welcome to another Good E-Reader video tutorial. My name is Marcus. Today I'm going to teach you how to copy ebooks to your Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. You can see a picture of it right here. This is the very latest and greatest from Barnes & Noble. The tablet has just come out and many people want to load their own ebooks on it. In some cases you may have purchased ebooks from other stores such as Kobo, Borders, Smashwords and other companies and you'd want to copy your purchased content to your device and in other cases you may just simply download books from the internet from uh, Google Books or from random websites on the internet and you want to load those in so I'm going to show you today how to use Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions and good old Windows Explorer and along the way I'm going to share some tips and insights with you. Calibre is a free open source program. It is 100% free. You can simply Google for it on the internet and it's updated roughly about once a week, every two weeks. It's the best program in terms of it issuing updates that allow it to recognize all of the new e-readers that uh, hit the marketplace. I'm going to show you some of the capabilities that Calibre offers you. I'm going to click on Add Books and then Add Books from a Single Directory. I'm going to click here on a book called uh, Jack Kennedy by Chris Matthews. So you can see on the right hand side there's the cover art, the author, the ebook format, as well as some tags and so on. So I'm going to right click and click Edit Metadata and then Edit Metadata individually. And you see a number of options here. You see the title of the book, the author's name, and then title and author sort. In many cases when you download books from the internet, the title may have the author's name also in there. It may have the book uploader's name. It may be just convoluted, misspelled, and so on. So when you copy ebooks to your device, Calibre allows you a little bit more flexibility in making sure that the title is spelled right, that the author is spelled right, and so on. You can see here that all of this looks like to be in order. This is the name of the book. This is the name of the author. You can see cover art and everything here. Let's say that you didn't have cover art. In, in a lot of cases when you download books from the internet, it may only have a scanned picture of the image. It may have a placeholder image or it may have just something completely different and you want to maybe change the cover art. Once you have the title and author's name properly uh, in the book here, you can click on download metadata. And what it does is it talks to Google and Amazon and it downloads the book description, uh, everything else from them. So you can see we have two options here. Both of them are correct. We're going to click next. And it's going to give you a lot of different pictures from, say, Amazon. Let's go with maybe the Amazon picture. Click OK. OK, so you can see that there is a review now that's popped up as well as rating, ISBN number, and so on. So it looks really proper now. And it even changed the author's name here to Chris Matthews and uh, Holter Graham. And the title of the book was The Elusive Hero. So this is how it properly should look. So I'm going to click OK. Now once you've made changes to the device, what you, or to the book, what you want to do is right click and you want to click on send to device and then send to main memory. And you can see in uh, the bottom it uh, went properly and then if we click on our device here you can see the book here. You can also see some of the things on the right hand side has changed because we fetched a lot of uh, information from the servers. Now if you have a book that is proper and you don't need to make any edits how we just did it. Instead of importing it into your library, you could just click on device, add books, and then you could select the book anywhere that you have it on your PC. Once you double click, the book will be copied over to this section. So this is Calibre. It's a great program. If your books do not have digital rights management or DRM, I suggest that you use it. And it's good for collections and so on. So we're going to close out of this. The next program I'm going to show you how to use is Adobe Digital Editions. This is a great program if you're borrowing books from a library or if you've purchased books from other bookstores or the books have DRM or digital rights management. Uh, again, you don't have to just do business with Barnes & Noble because you have a Nook tablet. You can do business with any store that sells ePubs. So Adobe Digital Editions is the program that you want to use. 
once you um, download Adobe Digital Editions, which is again a free program from the internet, it'll ask you to authorize your device. And if you've never set up an account before, you'll just have to set up a brief account with Adobe. Uh, the process takes about two minutes. Once your Nook shows here, you want to click on the library and then click item to library. And I'm going to click on the book, Ken Kesey, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So you can see that the cover art is here. We're just on our main shelf. If you left click, you can drag it around and you can see next to the arrow, there's a little X. And then once uh, you hover it over my nook, that X turns to a green symbol. So I'm just going to uh, unclick the left hand mouse button and it has been copied over to uh, the e-reader. This is very, very easy. Um, it doesn't really get much easier than that. All we did was just import it and then drag and drop. And uh, you can see a few other books that we have uh, copied on the device. Uh, the last method is uh, Windows Explorer. And when you plug in your Nook for the first time, it should bring uh, this up. So you'll see a directory called Digital Editions. This is the book by Ken Kesey that we just copied over. You can click on Barnes & Noble Downloads, click on Books. There's a lot of content here. So you see a lot of directories here. What you really need to be concerned about is My Files. And then you see books, documents, magazines, music, newspapers, even some recordings. Uh, wallpapers as well. So you can pretty well copy everything you want in here. If you want to copy over a wallpaper, you can do it in a JPEG format. Uh, videos, same thing, MP4, AVI. You can just uh, drag and drop you know, content from your computer in these specific directories. So again, once you're in the root uh, of it, you just want to click on My Files and then whatever directory you want to copy content, you can do that. So if you have magazines, we have one here in uh, PDF format, music, you can see here that we copied over a music file in MP3 format. So it's pretty self-sufficient or self-explanatory. I'm just going to click on books and you can see here that here's the book that we copied over with Calibre. It created a separate folder for the Jack Kennedy book. Now I'm not going to create a new folder. I just want to make things really easy. I'm just going to click on my desktop. I'm going to right click on uh, the book here, Jody uh, Picolt on uh, Salem Falls, right click, click copy, and then go back to my, my nook here, my files, books, and then right click again and click paste. Uh, alternatively, you can drag and drop if you have multiple windows open, but now we have copied over this book to our device. So just to sum everything up, today I showed you how to use Calibre. Windows Explorer and Adobe Digital Editions. Uh, all of those programs are free, so simply Google for it. And Goody Reader is your online destination for all the latest e-reader, tablet, digital publishing, and ebook news. Uh, we publish a ton of articles every day, anywhere between five and ten. We get our hands on all the latest text, so if you want to uh, read or see videos on the Nook tablet, Kindle Fire, Kobo Vox anything really we got it so make sure to check out our youtube channel if you love watching videos at youtube.com slash user slash goodyreader and for goodyreader.com my name is marcus and everybody take care